Hey everyone! Welcome to 601 Travels and to the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Outer Banks, North Carolina, then you are in luck. Today we're going to see and explore what makes Outer Banks a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. Outer Banks has almost 60,000 people and is known as OBX. Located in eastern North Carolina, right about here on a map. Let's just call it what it is. Outer Banks is a collective of coastal towns that make the perfect vacation destination. From beaches you've only seen in magazines, nature preserves, and outdoor activities that only the Atlantic Ocean can help you accomplish, it is a magnet for tourists. You can take it as easy as you'd like while you're here. There are many different attractions and things to do waiting for you, depending on what you're interested in. So let's go ahead and look at the top 10 things that makes Outer Banks a great place. Number 10. Bodie Island Lighthouse Located in Nags Head, at the end of the Cape Hatteras National Seashore, is the Bodie Island Lighthouse. It's everything you would expect a lighthouse located on the Outer Banks to be. Standing 156 feet tall, it is and is one of the last brick lighthouses still standing in the United States. Originally built in 1872, it was open to the public in 2013 and is available to tour. Visitors can climb the 214 steps to the top to see amazing views of the water, marshlands, and woodlands. The lighthouse still operates, flashing its navigational beam once every 27 and a half seconds. The Bodhi Lighthouse is a historic site and a great way to take in all the views from a little higher than ground level. We just like lost power for a second. Hold on. Number nine, Buxton Woods Coastal Reserve. Along with pristine beaches, Outer Banks is full of natural areas and reserves that are untouched. The Buxton Woods Coastal Reserve encompasses about 2,500 acres of land on Hatteras Island. All of the land there is undeveloped. If you're looking for a beautiful, scenic place to go and explore trails, this should be on your list. There are plenty of marked trails as well as more primitive trails you can take while you're there. This trail is visited often and welcomes leashed dogs so you can spend some time with your furry friend. Number 8. Cape Hatteras National Seashore Cape Hatteras is a scenic coastal area that contains Bodie, Hatteras, and Oracook Island along the outer banks of North Carolina. It's the country's first national seashore and is made up of 47 square miles. There are famous stretches of beach, salt marshes, dunes, and woodlands. People travel from across the country for the beaches and swimming, along with other activities like surfing. Included in the seashore are three lighthouses, multiple reserves with nature trails, woodlands for viewing wildlife, and many species of birds. This region has some of the best fishing you'll ever find as well. No matter if you're looking to relax on the beach or enjoy the water, this is one of the most popular vacation spots for a reason, and you'll see why. Number seven, Fort Raleigh. This part of North Carolina isn't known for its military history like a lot of other places, but there is a lot of history that took place on these islands. Fort Raleigh is located just three miles from Manteo on the north end of Roanoke Island. It preserves all the known sites and remains of Sir Walter Raleigh's Roanoke colonies, which were the first English attempts to settle the New World. Fort Raleigh also contains the remains of an Indian village, Elizabeth Gardens, and productions by the Roanoke Island Historical Association. The park is open all year and has walking trails that will take you around the fort and reenactments happen during the summertime. Visiting Fort Raleigh is a nice way to learn more about the area in between beach visits. Number 6. North Carolina Aquarium 
To go along with all the aquatic adventures you're probably already enjoying in the OBX, the North Carolina Aquarium is another great attraction to visit. Situated on Roanoke Island, it is a 68,000 square foot complex that was built to see the sea life of the region and beyond, teaching all about the world of maritime culture and its inhabitants. The aquarium is a great place for families to visit that's indoors and will keep you cool during the summer. Displays and exhibits inside include alligators, sharks, otters, sea turtles, and touching tanks with starfish, crays, and stingrays. Yes, that means you can get up close and even feed them. This is the best aquarium in the region. It should definitely be on your list of places to see. Number five, Pea Island Wildlife Refuge. Pea Island is another great outdoor destination for those who are looking to see the natural land of coastal North Carolina. It was established in 1938 as a safe place for migratory birds to spend winter, and while it still serves that purpose, there is much more to do there today. Encompassing 5,800 acres of land and over 25,000 acres of water, there are two nature trails in the park. One ends at a two-story tower that you can climb for awesome views of the refuge. It's free to visit and there's a visitor center with information about the wildlife in the area and the exhibit. They also offer canoe tours and interactive walks to further educate and inform its visitors so you can really understand what is around you. Number four, Avon Fishing Pier. If you're staying in the town of Avon or passing through, make sure to stop in and check out Avon Fishing Pier. This is the hot spot of Avon and is a very popular pier for many reasons. Built in 1962, it holds the title of being the first fishing pier to exist on Hatteras Island. It's an impressive size, extending into the Atlantic Ocean 600 feet. It's an excellent place for fishing or taking in the sights of the water, watching the sunrise or the sunset. In 1984, a record-breaking 94-pound red drum was caught off this pier and fishermen are still trying to break that record. This pier is an icon of the Outer Banks and should not be missed. Number 3. Jockey's Ridge When you think of the Outer Banks, you more than likely imagine picturesque beaches and sand dunes. Jockey's Ridge is a landmark for those in Nags Head and visitors in the area because of its impressive sand dunes. It's hard to believe or even imagine the scope of this park without seeing it in person. Some of the dunes are 80 to 100 feet tall, providing a ton of activities to do there. It's the perfect place to go hang gliding, sandboarding, or those who simply want to hike the dunes. There are extensive nature trails that will lead you to the ocean and the opportunities keep on coming with great water for swimming, surfing, and kayaking. If nothing else, it is a really impressive sight to just see and experience even if you don't go hiking or jump off the top of any of the sand dunes. Number two. Wright Brothers Memorial. A lot of people know the story of the Wright Brothers and even know that North Carolina is the birthplace of flight, but many don't know that it all started in Outer Banks. It was in Kill Devil Hills where the Wright Flyer lifted off the sands of the Outer Banks for 12 seconds before setting back down. That 12 seconds changed and shaped aviation forever back in 1903. The National Memorial is dedicated to the Wright Brothers and the Visitor Center has exhibits, programs, and sculptures to educate those who are interested in learning about what they've accomplished. You'll not only see artifacts from the Wright Brothers, but while you are there, you'll see the exact location where the plane took off and landed for the first time. With free admission and the importance of history, there's no reason to pass this one up. Number 1. Jeanette's Pier if you only had the chance to check out one pier while you're on the Outer Banks, this would be it. Jeanette's Pier was built in 1939 and has been repaired and rebuilt many times throughout its life. Since then, it's been purchased by the North Carolina Aquarium Society and is better than ever. 
it stretches an incredible 1,000 feet into the Atlantic Ocean and is one of the most popular spots for fishing and tourists. There are windmills on it that are used for clean energy and is a unique feature. The views you get when you walk this pier are out of this world. You will have the opportunity to see surfers, dolphins, or even whales as you look out into the ocean. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything or mispronounced anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Outer Banks, North Carolina. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.